Don't Blink, The Last Exorcism Chronicle Thriller of 2022, Demon's Light and Fire, is finally online. The film is based on the Vatican Exorcism Chronicle. According to director Danielle Stein, all the evil spirits in the film are documented. How's that for excitement? The story is still set in a troubled America. Legend has it that in the days of the Spanish papacy, God had a powerful and beautiful archangel, Lucius, under his command. He was brave and resourceful and defeated many invasions from hell. This was a powerful being, but he was expelled because of his pride and arrogance. He fell from grace. The fallen Lucifer sent demons to ravage the earth. He tried to destroy the kingdom that God had built. The demons took on human bodies. They manipulate their hosts to slaughter their own kind, to destroy the demons. Countless missionaries embarked on glorious exorcisms. But as science progressed, people came to realize that the so-called demons were in fact mental illnesses. With the spread of science. Exorcists have also retired from the history books. But what people don't know is that exorcists have not disappeared. They have always been hidden among the people to protect the human race. In order to train exorcists, the Vatican secretly set up a professional exorcism academy. Our heroine, Anna, is a member of this academy. Anna had a tragic childhood. Her mother suffered from severe depression. In normal times, she was a very gentle person. But when she had an attack, her mother became very violent. Anna was often abused by her mother when she was young. At the age of 10, her mother left Anna forever. Although the doctor's diagnosis was depression and mental illness, Anna didn't believe it. She was convinced that her mother was a demonic parasite. And the reason she believed this, it was because her mother used to say that there was a voice in her head that was controlling her. When she grew up, Anna became a nun. She went to the Vatican to study at a secret exorcism academy. There were many exorcists from all over the world. Some of them are veterans. Some are new to the school. Anna is curious about everything when she first enters the academy. To give the students a chance to practice, the academy also houses many ordinary people who have been parasitized by demons. Anna was assigned to a young girl. Looking at the innocent girl, Anna was confused. Why would such a lovely child be parasitized by a demon? In order to get closer to the girl, Anna had prepared some chocolate sweets. At the end of each session she would give the girl a candy. With the help of the sweets, Anna's relationship with the girl grew stronger and stronger. But Anna didn't know that. It wasn't the girl she was close to. It was a demon. That evening, Anna was just about to go back to her dormitory to rest after her practice. She had just entered the corridor. She heard the sound of a baby crying not far away. She turned to look. There was no baby at the end of the corridor. Anna thought she was hearing things because she was tired from her studies. But just as she was about to leave, something strange happened again. I don't like that room. Looking at the locked metal door and looking at the girl in front of her, Anna couldn't believe how the girl had gotten out, although she was a little curious. But it didn't get Anna's attention. She thought she had left the door unlocked. After sending the girl back to her room, Anna was about to return to the dormitory. But just as she reached the ground floor, once again, she heard an eerie scream. Anna followed the sound to a classroom. It turned out to be Professor Tom who was telling the advanced students about a real-life exorcism. A few years ago a woman was possessed by a demon. Not only did the woman develop insistent fangs, but she was also severely violent. Whenever anyone came near, she would go on a rampage in order to get rid of the demon. The family found an exorcist, but this time, the exorcism did not work. The exorcist was killed by the woman. The reason for the failure of the exorcism was that the exorcist had broken a cardinal sin. The demon had invaded the priest's spiritual world. This caused his faith to be shaken. It was this lapse in concentration that gave the demon the opportunity. The woman jumped up from the bed and seriously injured the exorcist. Fortunately, the priest was able to kill the demon at the last moment of his life. But the woman also lost her life. Tom's case intrigued Anna. She went to the library and looked up the information. Everything was fine for the first half. But when it came to the final stage of the exorcism, there was no record of it. Anna thought the information was missing. She reported it to the caretaker. But when they investigated, they told Anna the data existed. She just couldn't see it because she didn't have enough access. The level of access made Anna a little unhappy. In order to become a powerful exorcist, Anna applied for a transfer to Tom's group. But Anna didn't know how scary Tom's group was. The first day she was transferred, Anna met a demon. She was treating an old man. A familiar song suddenly started to play in the room. It was a song that her mother used to sing. 
before Anna could react. The old man suddenly turned around. We've been waiting for you. The eerie music and the gloomy old man made Anna feel uneasy. She quickly got up and tried to leave. But it was as if the room was enveloped by some force. Neither the alarm nor the lock would open. Before Anna could react, the old man was behind her in an instant. He grabbed Anna by the throat. A long tongue was exposed. Anna thought he was trying to kill her. But the old man didn't hurt her. Instead, he pulled her into a dance. In her panic, Anna pushed the old man hard and fell to the ground. When the old man came to his senses, he had no recollection of what had happened. The scene in the ward was filmed on CCTV. Both the headmistress and the nuns believe that girls should not become exorcists. They are naturally timid and easily compelled by demons. But Tom argued against it. She thought Anna would make a powerful exorcist. Tom broke the rule that only men were allowed to exorcise. He agreed to Anna's application. The next evening, Tom took the trainees to the college's secret base. Here a recently delivered demon was hidden. The purpose of the group's trip was to have a practice session. Before entering the basement, Tom asked everyone to say a prayer. The most important thing in exorcism is not great power, but strong faith. If you don't have strong faith, you can easily be invaded by demons. Finishing the prayer, the trainees made their way to the inner room. Anna looked in. It was the girl she had been caring for before who was locked in there. She raised her hand to be the first to practice, but Tom didn't agree. Instead, he gave the opportunity to two male students. Tom took out his equipment and told them, demons and their hosts are symbiotic. The exorcist's job is not to kill the demon, but to get rid of it and return the host to normal. This is the reason for the existence of an exorcist. With their weapons in hand, they entered the room. The demon seems to have sensed the arrival of the exorcist. It did not panic but made a mocking face. The demon's behavior angered one of the male students. He threw out the holy water. The moment the water hit her, the girl quickly crawled up the wall, seeing that it was working. The two men were about to use the holy water, but this angered the demon. She jumped down from the wall to the window, seeing that something was wrong. Tom rushed into the room with the help of the Bible. The demon was forced to the bottom of the bed, but just as Tom was about to deliver the final blow, a pair of large hands suddenly reached out from under the bed. Tom tripped and fell to the ground. Looking at the frantic girl, the trainees didn't know what to do. Just then, Anna burst into the room with the Bible in her hand. She quickly read out the girl's name. Finally, I'm here. I'm here with you. The frantic girl seemed to feel the call. She actually regained her composure. But just when everyone thought it was over, the girl's hair was suddenly pouring into her mouth and nose. Two male students tried to pull the hair, but they couldn't. The moment of truth was Tom's. He began to chant the spell used to exorcise the demon. Anna followed suit. With the spell in place, the demon had a pained look on its face. One of its arms came out and retracted quickly. Looking at the girl on the ground, Tom gave Anna a look of approval. But everyone knew the demon hadn't left. Tom told Anna, a demon like the girl was more than they could handle. She would soon be sent to the Ghostbusters sanctuary. There are more powerful mages there who will perform exorcisms. Anna investigates the so-called Ghostbusters sanctuary. It was a prison of great horror. The archmages would use all sorts of tricks to force the demons out. And very few people who had been exorcised came out alive. Anna tried to persuade Tom not to do this. She had found out from her research, the priests were no longer the exorcists they once were. They were so absorbed in fighting demons that they ignored the ordinary people who were parasitized by them. It was against the original intent of an exorcist, but her advice was perfectly ignored. Tom also said that Anna's faith had been shaken by demons, that this would make her as corrupt as Lucifer. Hearing Tom's words, Anna left in anger, but when she came around the corner, Andrew, the boy who had been involved in the exorcism yesterday, called out to her. Andrew told Anna, his sister was also possessed by a demon, fearing that the priest would hurt her. He was afraid to talk to the college. Yesterday he saw Anna's exorcism in a very different way, so he wanted Anna to try it. After school, Anna and Andrew returned home. Her sister was lying in bed scratching. It seemed that there was something in her stomach. Anna rubbed the holy water on the girl's stomach. In no time the demon reacted. Looking at the huge belly, Anna didn't flinch. She held the girl and said her name. And Andrew didn't stay idle either. He took out his cross and began to pray. 
with the blessing of the Bible, the girl's belly really did go down. But what Anna didn't expect was, but what Anna didn't expect was that this exorcism would get her into trouble. A few days later Anna was suddenly informed by the college. Andrew's sister had committed suicide. A private exorcism had led to the death of her host. Both Andrew and Anna were punished. She was sent back to her former convent. But just when Anna thought she would never be able to exorcise a demon again, something unexpected happened. The girl burst into flames during the transfer. Two priests were brutally murdered. Even the crosses were burned. Because Anna had successfully combed the girl before. Andrew then thought of him. Looking at the necklace in Andrew's hand, Anna remembered her mother's words. The demons were not looking for the girl, but for themselves. In the dead of night, the two of them went to the basement of the school. The girl had been waiting for them for a long time. The moment Anna stepped into the room, she broke free of her bracelet. Looking at the dead priest, Anna didn't flinch. She wrapped her arms around the girl and tried to wake her up. But this was the devil's plan. The moment Anna held the girl in her arms, the demon moved into her body. Anna told Andrew to take the child and go. She would find a way to deal with the demon herself. But before she could finish her sentence, the demon took control of Anna's body. She grabbed the girl and held her down by the holy well. Just as the girl was about to suffocate, Anna's spirit broke through the barrier. She let go of the girl in her grip to prevent herself from being controlled again. Anna decided to die with the demon. She broke her own leg. Then she placed the cross on her forehead and jumped into the holy well. With the blessing of the holy water, the demon's soul was baptized. Andrew arrived later and fished Anna out of the water. Although the exorcism was a bit of a struggle, but it was worth it. Anna was able to kill the demon with her own determination. The academy rescinded the punishment and allowed Anna to continue her education. And that's the end of the story.